Hi everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Grandpa. Me and Lorenzo here making another video. Today we're going to make banana bread. Everybody loves banana bread. This is our ingredients that we're going to need. I'll describe them later to you as we go along. You need an 8x4 loaf pan. That's about a one pound loaf pan in which I greased with a little butter and we put that on the side for now. And now we're gonna get started. Okay, by the way, I forgot to tell you, I'm preheating my oven to 375 and uh, it's not there yet. They take a good 25 minutes, these stoves, to get warmed up. I'm putting my butter in. This is kind of like the creaming method when you're making a cake but it's not so, not so severe as that. So we're gonna start creaming this butter up a little. Everything should be at room temperature when we're doing it. And I'll tell you in a few minutes, I'll show you, I'll start adding my sugar to this. Okay, I started just creaming it a little bit, just the butter alone. Now I'm adding my sugar to it. Give it a little shot by itself without the sugar. We're gonna clean this up so it gets to a nice cream. Before we're gonna add that, after that we're gonna add two eggs. Okay, let me push down this, clean this bowl a little bit before we start adding our eggs. We're not trying to get that much air in it like you would be doing for a cake, but this is still the creaming method. You're creaming sugar and, and, uh, and butter together. Okay, let's start this up again. Like I said, everything should be around room really temperature when you're doing this. Really not such a big deal. Kind of simple. Got two eggs. Start adding a little at a time. Okay, see how nice and creamy it is? Now we're going to add the rest of our eggs. And we're and now you're throwing in a little bit of your salt. More your salt. And I'll get back to you when this is done. Okay, you see when the nice beautiful cream we got there? Okay, now we're gonna do, what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna add our bananas that I mashed up. Two bananas, that's all it was. I'm making this one cake. Make sure that they're kind of ripe. The, the riper they are, the better it tastes. And we're gonna add that. And in here we have our flour, cream of tartar, and baking soda. You wanna add that last kind of last, and we wanna stir this in. Okay, we're mixing this up right now. We wanna clean the bowl down a little and then mix it a little more. The baking soda should be at the end, which it starts to get activated as soon as it starts to get moisture. So you want that, just batter to go right in to get baked. Let me just mix this up a little more. Okay, that's good. Okay, my grandchildren, they wanted me to add a quarter of a cup of chocolate chips to this. You can add walnuts, or you can add chocolate chips, or pecans, whatever you like. They like chocolate chips, that's what I'm doing. Okay, let me take this out now. We'll get started. Okay, like I said, get that baking soda into the pan as soon as you can.
Okay, we got this in here about 35 minutes, and we're gonna check it now. I am pretty think it's pretty done. You can check it with a toothpick. Make sure it comes out clean. I check it with my thermometer. Comes out clean, and I'm looking for it to be up around 200. That's good, that's beautiful. You know it's done. See, it comes out clean. If you have a thermometer, use that. If not, use a toothpick. We don't want to keep this in here like a cake for about 10 minutes. We want to try to get it out like bread. Just dump it right away. A rack. that cool down and we'll cut it and we'll get back to you when that's all done okay thank you for coming with me and Lorenzo making them all bread banana bread and I want to rem remind you in the description underneath you'll find all the ingredients in volume and in weight it's a real easy bread to make enjoy it we'll see you soon have a nice holiday <laughs>